Alright guys, welcome back. New video, same day. You guys didn't know, didn't see. Check out my last video. I check a take a borescope camera down there to see if everything's uh good with the Audi. Everything does look good. So I'll pull the car out after the truck is fixed. I'll pull the car out and then I'm gonna wash, spray a bunch of simple green inside the engine compartment which all went back together original didn't wasn't missing any pieces no pieces fit differently it's kind of nice because usually on these cars hoses wires something just doesn't fit right when you go to put it back because i had to lay all the wiring back but anyway onto my truck so you guys know i got on my truck it's a 2010 ram 2500 mega cab I don't want to go out there because there's a video that I gotta make about something over there anyway uh, when I bought the truck so I had a 2012 uh, SLT quad cab or four door whatever you want to call it and a guy at work wanted to buy it he bought it I bought a mega cab and then did a lot of stuff there's you can go to the uh, um playlist look up drunken ram stuff on it anyway i put the ram man front locking hubs on it okay let me go back i bought the truck the front gears the front bearings were shot in the front diff uh shot like really bad it turns out that the breather tube was cut he drove through a lot of water because he lived in arizona had the monsoon rains sucked up water i'm assuming so um, put new bearings in there, new races, new seals, everything in the front diff. And, uh, it used to whine really bad, like, like grinding noise. And, uh, that's why I did the front. And then I opted to do some Ram Man. Hi guys. Opted to do some Ram Man front, front lockers, front locking hubs. Um, it's a whole wheel bearing. There's a video for that. Uh, so this way the, the transfer case, the front diff just isn't spinning because on these trucks, the fourth gens, third gens, all basically all Dodgers. Um, it's only certain models that have certain things like an actuator that actuate the axle. Some of them have, have lockers, I believe. Um, that's what I've read. Um, or locking hubs, I should say. Anyway, uh. Yeah, so uh, I did that, so this way the front, because the noise was still there, even after I did uh, the bearings and everything. So, and I was like, well, I just didn't do it right or something. And then uh, I was thinking that the noise might be in the transfer case. So I changed the fluid, transfer case fluid was cooked, put new fluid in there. Anyway, um, so I've been driving the truck for... I don't know, 6,000, 8,000 miles now on these, uh, the Ram Man Inc. hubs. Um, and I finally decided to use four wheel drive, and one of the hubs broke. Uh, not the bearing, just the hub, because it's a, just a Ford hub, and apparently Ford parts can't handle the torque that the Cummins puts out. <laughs> anyway. So, I've been having a whining still, did some whining. I put some molly lube, some additive in the front diff, thinking the front diff would spin, but I'm stupid and forgot that the front diff, nothing spins. Check, came home yesterday, checked the transfer case, because I'm thinking, well, the rear bearings got to be bad, but when I pulled the rear diff cover off, fluid was really good. There was no metal shavings, no metal dust, nothing in there on the magnet. So check the fluid again. Everything's still good in the rear diff. And uh, so I was like, well, maybe it's a center carrier bearing. So sure enough, here's a video of the center carrier bearing. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to go back. All right. So apparently it's supposed to have that much play. From what I've read and seen. That play is normal. For some reason. I don't know why. 
But anyway, so then we get into this video. Turn the volume up. I'm gonna play it again. Hopefully you can hear it. So, anyway, that's what I think my noise is. So, I'm going to go to CarQuest, Advanced Auto Parts, whatever they're called. I'll go see if they have one, because they have a lifetime warranty. AutoZone has one, but they don't offer lifetime warranty stuff on a lot of parts anymore. Um, their lifetime warranty has pretty much gone away, because I'm assuming... They restructured and they're losing all kinds of money. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm going to go to CarQuest. It shows that they have one here locally, which is like five miles away. Go there, see if they have it. If they don't have it, then I guess I'll have to go to the good old auto zone. And hopefully it doesn't ex explode uh, at month 13. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I don't want to go out there. It's too windy. Um, it's just windy, so take the wife's car and uh, go get that part and a couple other parts. So I'm um, not sure if I'm going to do a video on it. I might do a video. Uh, I might not just because of the wind. I hate the wind. I hate working in the wind, and uh, I can't record in the wind. So that's what I'll be doing today, that and uh, one more thing. So, go to the go to the next video or wait for the next video. I'm gonna reveal something real quick. Something pretty cool. Something my brother-in-law bought me, um, and my kid wants to steal it from me. So I think it's gonna be my kids and mine. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go check it out right now. I'll do a video, and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah. I'll do an update video on the truck. The noise is gone. I'll see if I'm going to do a video, if I'm going to have to use the press, or if I'm going to have to take the drive shaft out, do it in the garage um, to press that bearing off, put the new bearing on. I don't know how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to go get the parts. And the wind's supposed to die down around 11. So anyway, stay tuned for that video. Hopefully it fixes it. And... Uh, yeah, if it gets rid of that whiny noise, I'll be happy because since I've had the truck, it's had that whiny noise. And I think it's getting a little worse, so I'm hoping it's that bearing. So I'll let you guys know. See you on the next video. Make sure you guys uh, click like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is it going to be the bearing or is it not going to be the bearing? And uh, we'll find out. All right, see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, people. Welcome back to the Half Fast 719. Got some parts for the Mercedes and for the uh, the Ram. First off, it's the fuel filter I replaced. You can see all that nasty stuff that's in this thing. It's pretty bad, pretty nasty. Found a blown fuse. So that's the part number for this fuel filter. It's just the uh, pre-filter, so there's another filter that I had to order, FF3311, DL, on the download. So I bought some assortment of wing nuts, which I'm pretty sure I already have, but whatever. And some Busman German, German auto fuses. Anyway, bought some fuses because one of the fuses... That fuse right there for the it said blower motor. I tried running the blower motor after I replaced it, it didn't work, but the windshield wipers work now. Alright, on to the truck. So went to CarQuest, uh, Advanced Auto Parts, whatever you want to call it, and picked up this this chingalini. 
uh, carrier support bearing. So he said it's the wrong one. I said I don't care. I'm gonna try it. So anyway, um, basically what I'm gonna check is. Oh, obviously, I took my drive shaft out. I didn't want to do it. It's windy. It's still windy. But anyway, ugh, what you need is a 15 millimeter. Undo the four bolts back there. Jack it up so that you can so you can twist it a little bit. Four bolts there. Tap it with the hammer. Let the drive shaft hang down and rest. Because if you drop these two bolts here these two if you drop those first then you got all the weight hanging on it so it's easier just to undo those tap it with the hammer those tap it with the hammer that way boop and I did mark it so it is marked I don't know if you see the little white mark right 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 where's my finger oh my gosh right over there so I marked it so it's gonna go back in the same spot did also mark the slip joint so basically where the little hose clamps are I marked it all the way down so uh, yeah and then it just slides out of the transfer case you're gonna get a little bit of leaking fluid so these two are 15 15 millimeter sockets or bolts so those are 15 millimeter try to use a six point a six point socket I'm using a 12 point and you can see it's kind of rounding the edges. So I'll probably switch over to a oh man, to a six point socket. Oh anyway, so now we can get to this. So I slid it out. Obviously you can see somebody else already did it or did something. There's a white mark there. I marked it there and it's basically on the same mark that they marked, which went in line with the whole hose clamps. So, get this off first. I took a pry bar, two pry bars, went boop, and then spun it. Boop, boop. Came off. So, now we gotta see if it's the same diameter minotaur, which looks like it is. It's a new one. It's gonna go on like that. Yeah. It'll go on. Because they he's all they have multiple options. One's a 30 36 millimeter. And he said one is a, a 40 millimeter. And I said, well, it's three quarter ton diesel, so it's probably the bigger one. So you have to tap that on. Um now I just want to check the mounting holes before I do anything. Just in case I have to throw it back on. Point of having teeth if you don't use them. So I'm assuming, obviously, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, doesn't really say forward, backward, made in China. I don't really know. So that hole lines up, and that hole lines up. Boop, and so obviously these holes are a little bit slotted so I'm just gonna tighten the bolts snug them down enough to where this can move back and forth and I'll push the truck forward and back and then I'll tighten them I'll probably put the whole drive shaft in everything and then move the truck forward and backward so this one does have a lifetime warranty I believe is what I read um, I just wish I knew which was forward and which was back. Which doesn't really make any sense because this one obviously is forward because it goes there. But we have this metal sleeve there. Just gonna go like that. Or is it going to go like that? I'm assuming I decide. So, anyway, you can see this one. Got a lot of play in it. 
and it sounds really bad. So, anyway, let me throw it all on. Let me press this one off. I might use a bearing, a bearing puller, this little tool here. <clears throat> what I'm going to try first is I'm going to try sticking a punch in here, a little small punch, and trying to punch it off so I don't damage anything on the back side. Not sure how secure these are, but that's what I'm going to try. And uh, whatever works, I'll let you guys know. And, uh, and I'll demonstrate it on the here coming up in a little bit. So let me uh, get to it. Okay, bye. All right, morning. So it's the next day. Um, basically, this is just the outro of the differential, the axle, drive shaft, whatever you want to call it, carrier bearing. That's the part I got. That's the part I used. 6093 Archer. Archer Industry Incorporated. I'm sure they're junk. So I put the bearing on and spin it. And I don't know if it's any better than what... It's better than what I had. Because it doesn't have the play like a... But... It seems like it's not really that good of a bearing. It seems like there's two ball bearings in there. Anyway, it it's only a matter of time before it goes bad, and then I'm gonna have to go back, pull it off. Um, yeah, so I'll probably order just a Mopar one. But anyway, it's a pain in the butt to get it off. Um, this is how I got it off. This outside or inside here. Show you. Let me show you. So these basically go in there, and they got these little crimped spots like one, two, three, four that are flared out that way. So I just flared them in, tap to tap this whole bearing out of this. So that came out fine. This came out fine, but this was a pain in the butt to get off there. So, put a bearing puller on there, but it's hard to get a bearing puller because the bearing is recessed so far back in there. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely a nightmare to get off. I had to use a punch and a puller. I used the bearing puller anyway and a punch, and I was basically punching, punching, punch, 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 punch everywhere around that I could to slide it off. And then it made a pop, and then it just locked on there. So, um, yeah. This is what I used. This bearing puller thing with a bunch of extensions on it. So, and then I was beating on it on the back side. So, anyway, I was hitting on it to drive it off. Wouldn't work. And it was a pain in the butt. And then I had this piece of pipe. And that's what I put it on with. Put the new one on. Slid it over. And then was hitting this side to press it on. <clears throat> so. Anyway. Um, yeah. Got it done. Noise is gone. No uh, whining noise coming from the truck. So... Uh, truck drives smooth, no vibrations, so everything's good.